The gospel of global warming rears its head once again, going through the mainstream media to smoke out the infidels. An expert audit, a so-called expert audit published by the Canadian Committee for the Advancement of Scientific Skepticism, ironic name if I ever saw one, is accusing Tom Harris, friend of this program and head of the International Climate Science Coalition, of providing students in his earth science course at Carleton in Ottawa with biased information. To quote the UK's The Guardian, the course under Harris's direction systematically deviated from the scientific mainstream on climate change, embracing extreme opinion. You heard it here, folks. Deviating from the mainstream is automatically extreme. And it's happening at a university in Canada. Won't someone please protect the kids? Look, it's one thing to question his teaching material for its content. Universities should be bastions of healthy debate and discussion. But these so-called scientific skeptics are having none of that. Non-mainstream? Associated with other non-mainstream thinkers? Yes, other non-mainstream thinkers, as in more than one. I could go on about how absurd and ridiculous this mentality is, but let's hear it from the horse's mouth himself. Tom Harris in Ottawa, you you climate deviant. Jeez, oh, um, my God. <laughs> what, what, would, what would you say is what would you would call, say, that the number one misconception people have about your course at Carleton? Well, they think that I'm teaching climate denial. In fact, it even says in the headline of the 100-page report that talks about my course, they must be very worried, climate change denial in the classroom. <laughs> I mean, they, it, you know right away that there's something going on here because, of course, no scientist uses the word denial. I mean, that's a political term. We know climate changes, and in fact, throughout the whole course, we talk about how it impacts humans and the possible causes, you know, because a lot of it's unknown. But, you know, as soon as I saw this, I thought, oh, no, is this another fruit fly geneticist Suzuki type attacking us. So I looked up and I said, okay, who wrote this? <laughs> and it turns out a postdoctoral fellow at Carleton University who studies insects. Oh my, isn't that interesting? Oh, it's a secondary author. Okay, it's a, a writer and communications professional and then two other biologists, okay? So you got biologists, one of them an employee of Carleton University, not talking to me, but going right to the media with, an, with a hundred page document critiquing the course. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I don't know about you, but if you did that in most companies, do you know what would happen to you? <laughs> well, all right, so uh, they turn you into a straw man and then they torch you. Yeah, and, and they bring up insane things. For example, they say that when Professor Carter, who was one of my guest lecturers, said that carbon dioxide is not a pollutant, they actually attacked us for that. You know, and, and they said Harris does not propose a mechanism by which the climate might cool. Um, excuse me, I brought in Professor Patterson, who spent a whole lecture on cosmoclimatology and showed the students exactly why the climate might cool. So besides all the ad hominem and other nonsense in here, logical fallacies, who are you associated with, all that kind of stuff, a lot of which is wrong, for example. They're saying, I, I'm, I, I'm a lobbyist, or I was a lobbyist, and I never have been. But the science itself is, uh, come on, if they were being, you know, honest about it, they would have gone to the lecture ahead of time, they would have said, you know, we have some problems with the course, and there would have been an internal university discussion. But instead, they, they completely overlooked that, they went right to the media with all these charges. Would you have been open to having a an academic discussion uh, oh, yeah. at Carleton with uh, your your accusers. Yes, of course. And in fact, sometimes the accusers were the students themselves. They'd say, I don't believe this. You know, they'd send me emails saying, all these other references say something else. So at times, I would actually go back to the other references and I would actually, you know, investigate them thoroughly, come back to the students. And a few times we actually changed course material based on our input. So yeah, we were very open to changing things. You have to remember, this is a very rapidly evolving field field, nobody really understands the climate, okay? Many of these things like cosmoclimatology only started really in about 2003. So there's nobody who could teach a complete course like this and have nothing unquestioned. And so naturally, I'm very happy to change things as required. But I gather if you're not part of that, I'll just call it the, the Gore Suzuki army. If you're not kind of marching with them, then you get targeted by by these folks, especially the <laughs> folks who, who fill the pages of The Guardian. Yeah, that's right. And, and they don't seem to have, well, let's look at how they got my lecture notes, okay? Or I should say the lecture videos. 
And they actually have a little email dialogue here because you have to sort of wonder because this stuff is copyright with the university and the professor. Apparently, the uh, head of this document, the person who's the lead author, went to the video on demand people at Carleton and they said, or this particular person said, the, the head of the, I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to get sued over this, but he has it right in the report. He said to the Carleton people, I'm not interested in taking the course. Well, maybe he should have, but anyway, but simply desire some background information on the lectures. Yeah, background information. 200 pages of critique and sent out to the media? Come on. <laughs> one, one last uh, question, uh, nothing to do with uh, the climate. Is the Guardian, which printed all this, are they still printing Heather Malick stuff? <laughs> I don't know. But one thing I did do at the beginning of my interview with The Guardian that your viewers might like to have a look at is I asked her, do you mind if I record this interview? And she said, fine. And so the audio of our interview and The Guardian piece are side by side at the top of our webpage. And we're saying to the public, judge yourself. Is All it right, fair? Your website is? What, what's the URL? What's your website? ClimateScienceInternational.org. ClimateScienceInternational.org. Tom, thanks very much for not being part of the so-called mainstream. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.